Oh, oh, there's a cat. There's a cat coming. I was gonna try to start the vlog, but we have a kitty visitor. Oh, hi. I'm sure no one loves you. Anyways, uh, yeah, last night, I think we left off. We had dinner at Ruby's place. And then we came out here to the deck and uh, had some wine and, you know, enjoyed the fireplace. Hi. Okay, we have to pay attention to Kitty. I'm sorry. Oh, you're soft. We haven't met this one yet. I don't know which one this one is. Oh, okay, bye. Well? Oh my queen. This cat. Anyways. So, on today's agenda, uh, we're going to check out Custer State Park. But first, we're going to go grab some breakfast at Perkins. And we're going to get some lunch made for us at Subway so we can have sandwiches somewhere in the park. And yeah, so we're going to check that out. So after a breakfast at Perkins, which just for clarification, Perkins is a restaurant I don't think Mike had ever been to. And I had been to once a very long time ago. And I remember it as a buffet, but it was very clearly not a buffet. So we went to Perkins and then we stopped by Walmart because we needed to get some more food supplies for today. Um, we are now at Custer State Park and we're about to pay our entrance fee. I'm not sure if they're doing card or cash yet. We'll try to keep you updated on that. But it says it's good for up to seven days. So we're going to explore the beauty that is Custer State Park today. Okay, so we just paid our entrance fee. It is $20 for uh, basically an entire week. She said for all South Dakota state parks, but then I asked about the Badlands and she said it was not good for the Badlands, which I'm pretty sure the Badlands are in South Dakota, but I also didn't do a whole lot of research on this trip, so that's probably just shame on me, honestly. Anyways, so I think we are going to go do the wildlife loop first. We might stop at the visitor center. So the big things to do here are the wildlife loop trail, and it's not even a trail, it's a scenic drive actually, now that I think about it. And then you can take the Needles Highway, which is a scenic highway, you go through several tunnels. I'll try to show you guys what the big deal is about it. We are also gonna try to do some light hiking and some kayaking today. I didn't do a whole lot of research, like I said, on this, but I mostly came here for the views. Um, not gonna lie but it is it's pretty gosh darn majestic. And we might, I believe there's like a one and a half mile hike up at Sylvan Lake, which is at the end of the Needles Highway. And I think that's might where I, or might be where we try to do some hiking as well, but I, or kayaking, I can't talk right now. Maybe a little pro tip for you. So Custer Park is kind of out in the middle of nowhere and it does seem like there is a little bit of driving to do here. So it's probably a good idea to fill up your car before you get here because I haven't seen a gas station in some time and you'll be doing at least a little bit of driving today because a lot of this is just, it's all about the views, man. Look at them scenic views. We did see a sign that said wildlife at large. So we haven't been on the wildlife loop trail yet. We're on our way there, but you could hypothetically see anything right now. We are coming up to the visitor center here right now, mostly because we have to pee and we think they'll have some decent bathrooms. But the lady, the nice lady, where we, uh, we were getting our pass at said, it's like, you know, a thing to check out. There's like cool exhibits and stuff. Okay, so we stopped at the visitor center. We got the, the hot goss on all the things to do here. So yeah, we're doing the wildlife trail right now. And we might not be here for the, you know, the right time. It did say in the visitor center that like the best time to see the animals is like early morning and late afternoon. So we'll see, but we could be seeing buffalo. We could be seeing prairie dogs, woodpeckers. I think they even said like pronghorn antelope or something. They did. Yeah, so we're just gonna be keeping an eye out for everything. But it's possible this might take several hours is what we heard someone say. And we're gonna be just, you know, cruising along at this, this nice cozy speed, enjoying ourselves.
Even though we haven't seen any animals, it is just breathtakingly spectacular and majestic, which I've probably said 26 times on this trip so far. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming it's to prevent overgrazing of the lands. But if you look in the distance, I'll zoom up here in a minute, we're like, oh my gosh, that's, that's a buffalo. It's kind of, probably not the greatest quality, but there's a buffalo there. And hopefully we'll get to see him a little bit closer here in a minute. So we'll see it after we get over this little hill, but there's some sort of animal on the road. And a bunch of people are out of their car cars. <gasps> They're burrows! But people are being really stupid about it. Yeah, I don't think we should get out of the car. No. We can film, but I'll pull over so we can... Can we maybe go there? Uh, on the left, yeah. Yeah. Now I think about it, I think these guys are known as begging burrows. Oh goodness. Oh, you're cute, but I have nothing to give you. We have nothing. We have nothing. Oh, you're cute though. I know. But I think I read about it. Oh, walk around and beg? Yeah. Because they know people give them snacks. spikes on your face. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I have nothing, though. <laughs> Are you nervous right now, babe? A little bit, but you okay. Donkey. <laughs> Donkey. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. More begging? <laughs> He's like, you have nothing. Oh, my God. Look at all this. No, I'm sorry. Just look at all, like, that carnage on his butt. Yeah, that's what the fan. It's fine. Hey, okay, look at the other look at the other two. He's like scratching his back. Hi. Do you see the other two over there? Yeah. Where it's scratching. Yeah. I have nothing. So I just Googled this because I had seen something and like on Pinterest about what they're they're known as begging burrows, but apparently this is a feral donkey herd. I'm pretty sure people feed them. We're getting close. Here we go. I have nothing. We have nothing. But if I get hurt, at least it's on camera for all of you to enjoy. Hi. He saw we have nothing and he just like, oh, those people have something over there. But I do want to see this little one over here. Like, Hi. So apparently these guys were used to help uh, move settlers and all their luggage and supplies up to the Sylvan Lake Lodge. Oh, are you gonna scratch yourself? Oh, that's a good scratchy. And then when they were done with that, they just released them into the park and they've been here for over a hundred years.
So it's not recommended to get out of your car. Yeah, we're actually getting out of the car. Uh, they're getting really close, actually. It's a little scary. Okay, we're going. We are going. Sorry. Sorry, Boof. Boof. I'm sorry. Mike is spooked. Yeah. I don't feel like getting bored today. Thank you. Can we stop soon? Yeah, we'll stop like right here a minute. Why did the beef go across the road? To gore the bystander that got out of his car. Got it. Yeah, so these guys are actually pretty dangerous. Um, they, at the visitor center it said full grown, they're like six feet tall and like they can gore people with their horns. So that's why Mike was getting a little nervous when the one got really close to the car. No, well, he's just walking up. If you want to hand the camera back and... What? Oh yeah. All the little babies crossing, crossing the, road. the road. We missed that. that. No, we didn't. We got it on camera. <laughs> did you? I did. I messed up. That's what I do best. Uh, holy <laughs> Okay, okay. Well, we don't have anywhere to go. Oh. They're like 20 feet from the car. That's my stuff. So, uh, this, this couple up here, we're doing something really cute. Um, the lady started peeing, and the male started sniffing it, and then he started licking it, because nature's beautiful. Uh, the herd is- Holy crap, man. The herd of buffalo is passing our car. What the heck? This is insane. So why did the buffalo cross the road? To gore us as we sit here in our fort. Please don't gore us. We are- but near ants. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. It's got some of the horns on these guys. Holy shit. Holy shit. Well, I'm sorry. You Mike might is not okay. We might need to censor some of this for the YouTube. <laughs> and that guy up there, he don't care. He's like, out of the car, filming. Reminds me of Texans and tornadoes. Shirt that says corn. <laughs> you not. Wow, okay. That's something. Oh, he's pooping. Nature's beautiful. So, all around in this field are wild prairie dogs and I just paused because I heard one of them do their alarm calling. No, 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 I swear, oh my gosh. It's just far in the distance. So we just finished the wildlife scenic drive and we are now headed up to Needles Highway. So we did see prairie dogs. I don't think the video is going to come out, but we did see prairie dogs. We saw bison and we did see one pronghorn antelope. I kind of wish we had seen more of the antelope, but say la vie. You might just need to come back here. I don't know. It's possible after we do needles, I might be able to talk Mike into doing a wildlife trail again, but we'll see. So there's a sign for this like Calvin Coolidge lookout. And we are literally on top of a mountain right now. Like a car just passed that little road down there. And this is like the most scenic thing I've seen in a very long time. How many times can I use scenic in this video, do you think? What was the other word? Majestic. Majestic. I haven't used majestic yet. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, would recommend. You will get punched in the face with pine needles. Not actual needles, just the scent of pine. But yeah, it's worth it.
we have started the Needles Highway Trek. And we're actually at a picnic spot called the Hole in the Wall. But I do kind of want to just dip my toes in this water and see how cool it is. Because I'm guessing this water is from like melted snow runoff. So we're going to do a little experiment here real quick. How cold is it, babe? It's warm. It's warm? Yeah. I think you're lying. <laughs> it's so cold. It's, it's so mean. It's probably like 50 degrees, 40 degrees. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold water. Cold. But this is the hole in the wall. We're going to go investigate. Do you want to turn on the flashlight on your phone before we enter certain death? Nope, certain death. Not yet. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's nothing? Actually, this is picking it up pretty well. Oh, it is cold in here. Yeah, it's pretty chilly. And there, actually, it, there is something in here. Oh. Is that, oh my God, it's, it's water. There's water it's coming from over there. So there's a hole in the rocks right there. You can see it coming, kind of flowing out a little teeny bit. Yeah. And up there somewhere, you can also see it kind of dripping out. Yeah, the temperature just dropped like 20 degrees in yeah. here. Yeah, it's probably like 60s in here. since I've been punched in the face by pine. I believe there is a little like walking trail over here you can take to also quote unquote thread the needle. So we're gonna go check that out in a minute. Oh, we're on the left? Yeah. Oh. I think that's why everyone's going over there. Up at Sylvan Lake, it is 
four o'clock. Um, we definitely did not start this uh, adventure early enough today. We were kind of lazy this morning and I don't even think we got to Custer State Park until like 11 o'clock. Um, so yeah, we've somehow spent five hours between the Wildlife Loop and the Needles Highway. Um, we just got here, we checked out the gift shop. It's kind of cute. Our original plan for today was to kayak a little bit around this lake and to also hike because there's a just a loop trail around the entire lake. But I think because we got here so late in the day that I think we're just gonna hike. But it is, kayaking is a thing. It looks like there's some to rent. We did have our own, our blow up one and the car. Uh, we're just, we didn't wanna take all the time because it's completely deflated right now. It takes a while to blow up. So I think we're just gonna hike around the lake. But maybe pro tip, if you're gonna do all the things, start early or just camp up here. I don't know, there's plenty of camping spots. Okay, so after a very long day in Custer State Park and hiking and everything, we are now at Alpine Inn uh, Restaurant. Well, it's an inn and a restaurant. Right. So, uh, we're here because this was recommended by a friend that we needed to go here. So this place is a little unique uh, for a couple of different reasons. One is this decor is, well, I didn't even realize the ceilings were like fancy. Like, yeah, they're fancy. The decor is very fancy. It's mm -hmm. like very authentic. Um, if you look on the Yelp page, I want to say it says it's a German place, uh, but the other reason why it's unique is they literally have two dishes on the menu. Um, you either get a bacon wrapped filet mignon or you get spetzel with vegetables. Literally two dishes. So, That's it? <laughs> yeah. But we decided to go ahead and give this a try uh, because it was so highly recommended by a friend of ours. And, and, me. and on Yelp, it's highly rated. Like, oh, I think four out of five rated. stars. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of five star reviews, lots and lots of them. So, mm -hmm. and uh, so far, it's, uh, I don't know, it's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what else is special? We're digging it. Okay. Um, I guess what else is special is these local wines we're drinking. Oh, yeah. So, uh, there's a winery around here called Prairie Berry. It is all based off of South Dakota berries. So, most of their wines are actually berry based instead of grape based. They do have one or two. I don't know. We need to go to the winery, which we might do tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We were talking to the bartender for a little bit. Um, so they do have one grape-based winery, or I mean wine. Wine. I'm, I'm already drunk. Um, <laughs> but otherwise, yeah. the rest of them are very based. And on the note of being drunk, like, it's very light and very rosy in color. Mm -hmm. Very fruity in flavor. Mm -hmm. Do you taste any, any alcohol? No, it's very dangerous. They it's remind me good. of more dangerous wine coolers. If, like, wine coolers are dangerous to you, this is going to be, like, lethal. This is lethal. Yeah. I mean, you can drink these... I would say it tastes like strawberry Gatorade, mm -hmm. but there's alcohol in it. There is alcohol, so it's just be aware. Yeah, um, very good flavor too. Really good. I like it a lot. Yeah. So he's drinking the the rhubarb. The rhubarb. It has rhubarb and raspberries, and I'm drinking the black currant wine. And I think we're gonna do a second round, and I'm gonna get some other ones. I won't even remember. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a real candle. <laughs> <laughs> I just put my hand over the middle of the table, and there's a candle there. I thought it was like a fake bulb, but no, it's, it's hot. It's legit. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Well, you're gonna get the uh, <laughs> blackberry, and I'll get the uh, different winery. Oh wait, no, they're all different. These are different. So yeah, those two are prairie berry. These two are other, I think, local wineries. Yeah, this is local wineries. We can read. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get one that has orange muscat with flavors of tropical fruit, citrus, apricot, and honey. And he's gonna get something that has blackberry in it. Blackberry from uh, Naked Winery, and for yours is. Firehouse. Maltese Cross. Maltese Cross. Mm. Anyways, wow. we're gonna get steaks and oh. we're gonna enjoy ourselves. Oh, what else? One more thing. What else? Okay. This place is cash only. Oh, that's and right. It's, that's and it's, important to know. Yeah, and it's slam packed. The wait was 45 plus minutes. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine. Cash only? That's weird. Two things on the menu? That's weird. What? Mm -hmm. Slam packed? I mean, it must be good. It must be good. So, really, I'm really excited. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll check in with you later.